Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is having audio or sound is not working issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this issue we can all try with running the audio troubleshoot. For this we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here we have to go to system, keep scrolling down and navigate to troubleshoot. Now from here go to other troubleshoots and now from here you can see the audio. You have to run the troubleshoot and you have to cross check whether they are going through any kind of issue or not as this is the first step. Once you are done with this one, you have to close this, go back and try a launch in the game. Next one is nothing but you have to restart the game couple of times which means you have to restart the game, restart the PC. Even I'm saying you have to restart the Steam as well. For restarting the game, we have to exit from the game. For restarting the Steam, closing over here is not going to work for you. That's, that's not the way it is restarting the Steam. You have to go over here in the Steam at the top. Go for exit. Once you go for the exit, you have to go over here. You have to do a complete restart on your PC. Once you're done with one, you have to launch the Steam once again. And once you launch the same, uh, once launch the Steam, it's going to lock in you back. Once you log in you back, you have to try to launch the game. Because it worked for few users, not much, but uh, I have to say around uh, 40 to 50 percentage users did mention this. It worked for them, so you can try this out as well. Next one is nothing but you have to cross check the volume mixer. For this, you always have to keep in mind that if the volume is being set to 100%, I mean to muted, and you try to launch the game and you continue playing the game, and if you're having the audio issue, we have to cross check from our side whether we muted it or not. So if we are muted, it will be having the trouble. So keep in mind a habit from yourself that you have to keep this maximum or make sure this is not muted. And after that, you can go over here and try to launch the game. Next one is nothing but we have to do is we just need to select the right audio device. For this, we just need to go over here, click on this one, go to settings. Now from here, go to sound. Make sure that you have selected the right audio device. So for me, your Realtek R audio is the speaker. So I have to select the ring. same for the microphone Realtek R audio. So you have to select the right audio device. If you have selected the wrong audio device, then you'll be having the trouble. And also keep in mind, this has to be 100% percentage. If this is muted, you will be having the trouble. So keep in mind, you have to keep this 100 percentage and this will 100 percentage. And once after this, go back to the next step and try with this. Next one, we have to set the sound sample rate to 48 or 44 kilohertz. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, go for control panel. You have to go to hardware and sound. From here, go to sound. Now from here, we have to go to, uh, you have to select the speaker right, uh, right click and you have to go over here, not in this way, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, go to advanced. And over here, you have to make sure we are having many options, 16 bit 4400 hertz. 16 bit 4800 hertz, 24 bit 4400 hertz, and 24 bit 4800 hertz. So you have to set this to uh, this one and you have to go this, go for this OK and close everything and cross check this and into one more step I will be adding this out where you have to turn off the spatial sound. Uh, you can try this out, it might work for this just right click over here. You have to select right click, select the speaker, right click and go to the properties. Go to the spatial sound and make sure this is turned off. This is turned on and you have to go OK and close this. Go back and try a launch in the game. Next one is nothing but you have to disconnect the controllers which means you have to disconnect every peripherals over here. And keep in mind, once you disconnect everything, launch the game. Once game is launched successfully and you are proceeding with the game and you can connect it back and try to launch the game. And it worked for many users so you can try this out because I don't know how these are related but this did work it for many users. That's why I'm recommending. For me personally, it worked for the games like, you know, uh, Back 4 Blood and even for uh, Spider-Man Morales which I used to play all the time. So it worked for me in all these games so you can try this out as well. Next one is nothing but we have to disable the Oculus Voice Meter. For this, just go over here in the search. Go for settings as well, go to the, uh, sorry, not over here, just go over here, go to the control panel, go to the uh, hardware and sound, select the sound from here. Now from here, if you find the Oculus over here, you have to disable it. For disabling, select the Oculus, go for disable option and you have to disable it. Once you disable it, you have to go ahead and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still, it's not working, we have to go to the install it audio driver. That means you have to update the driver. 
For this, we just need to go over here in the start, right click and we have to go over here in the device manager. Now from here, we have to go over here. Uh, you have to find over here the audio. You'll be able to find the audio. Okay, now from here on the sound, you have to find the Intel R audio. So select this one and update the driver or keep in make sure that you have to update the driver. Once drivers are up to date, you have to close this and move to the next step. Next is this one, the last step you can try out is all about, you have to install, I mean, we have to verify integrity of game file. So just right click over here and go to the properties, go to install it files and click on the verify integrity of game file. So once you do this, it's gonna take a little bit of time. So keep in mind, this will cross check every single files of a game. And if your files are corrupted and if any files are missing and you will be having all the fixed issue up. So these are the things you can try this out and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.